Hi, this is Dirty Phonics, Charlie Dirty Phonics pitching. Uh, the two other guys are still in the studio, working hard, their ass off on the album. Love it. So yeah, back in uh, 2004, something like that, uh, Charlie and Thomas met at school. They started to go all together in the studio to make some music, and this is how Dirty Phonics start. A few years later, uh, they call me, and they give me a lot of money, but like a lot of money. And they ask, they asked me, yeah, to, to, to come in the band. Back in 2008, we started the project, the live stuff and everything, and we released the first record on audio porn, the Shimon's label, and this is how it started. So yeah, um, our debut album is going to be out in March uh, 2013, it's called Irreverence, and the idea behind the title is that from the very beginning, we've never done anything the way other people do it. It's 30 phonics, motherfucker, and you know, it's like, hey, we want to do this, we're going to be irreverent. Uh, apparently, there's a saying that French people are very irreverent. It comes from back in the days, we do everything our way, and that's what we do today. So honey, don't play! We're mixing Foreign Beggars and Knife Party, man, that was that was a big thing. Uh, we actually played with Foreign Beggars in a, at a party. Obviously, after the party, we keep partying. So we drink a little bit, blah, blah, blah. And at some point, you know, Pav from Foreign Beggars comes up to us and is like, hey, you know what? We're releasing our album soon. And we have a track that we did with Knife Party. Would you like, would you like to remix it? So we're like, yep, yeah, maybe, you know, let's have a listen. If you want a little something about this track that no one knows is that Knife Party never sent any parts of the tracks, so we had to rewrite everything. And then um, we had the guys from Foreign Beggars, you know, we called them and we're like, all right, you know, we did the instrumental, now we need the voices. Can you send us the separate parts? And they're like, well, actually, no, we don't have them. So what we did is we had them re-sing the parts uh, and... Thanks, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, and the guys, you know, on top of re singing everything they actually wrote a new verse and new lyrics so the remix has different vocals than in the original so it's more than a remix it's a yeah it's a collaboration yeah come alive from the apex straight forward to the floor but we stay set i stay blessed game face can we take two take care yes play face to my lane back to the game i'm a main fan so live love is ran out of apex i ain't never been a runner up buckle up bring a fan coming at the speed so break this no matter how we came off came off we waste this got the bar in bass music it was all about drum and bass and then dubstep came in, brought a lot of new people and new kids into this music. And everywhere worldwide, whether you're in the States, in Australia, in Europe, everywhere, kids are getting mad. And, you know, now you have like fucking 7 to 20 years old kids that are growing with dubstep. You know, getting into music through dubstep. So that's what they know, it's their bass. And from dubstep, now they're listening to drum and bass. They're listening to electro, they're listening to Mumbathon. Um, so, we definitely think that it's gonna last. Yeah, fuck yeah. It's a new genre and it's here to stay. The last time we were playing live here, uh, during the live, I step up on the table to go and stage dive. But you know what happened? My feet just grabbed the power plug of the main mixer. I jumped, and the minute I jumped, the, the sound was off. I was just like, whoa, what happened in the air? I was just like, fuck, what I'm gonna do? And I stage dive, and people bring me back on the stage, and we're just like, whoa, what happened? And we replug everything, and it was me. So sorry about that. Because yeah, in US, they used to have like golf cart, like to drive artists to stages. And Charlie, Apparently, stole a golf car, half naked, and we, I don't know, we found the golf car burned on fire in the middle of the desert in Las Vegas. If we had the DeLorean and we were in Back to the Future, 
would probably travel to 2045, 46. Yeah. Um, that's when we're planning the first gig on the moon. And we're going to be headlining that motherfucker. And that's going to be fun. Really? Dirty moon, motherfucker. Dirty moon, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to know about the future. I don't want to know. No, I just want to go to the Hendrix concert. Uh, I don't know. Led Zeppelin or... Go to chill with Mozart or kids like that. Hey, this is Dirty Phonics and you're watching Beatmasters. Check it out.